In this video, you will learn how to make this college chuck in Autodesk Fusion. This video is sponsored by Autodesk. And in this video, you use the features Revolve, Extrude, and Circular Pattern. So open your Fusion and let's go. The first step to create this college chuck here, we will select the right plane and make a construction line here in the midpoint. Here will be our midpoint, okay? Make a construction line with 80 millimeters. Then we'll create another line here with 80 millimeters too. And the distance between this line here and the construction line will be a half of three millimeters of diameter. So it will be 1.5 millimeters, okay? We'll make this because when you use the revolve features, we'll have a hole here in the center. So, go to create a sketch, select the right plane, select line, construction line. Click here in the midpoint, make a construction line with 18 millimeters. Okay. Select the line again, remove the construction line type. Make another line here. Go to constraints, horizontal, vertical, select this point and this point here. And this point and this point here. Go to sketch dimension. The distance between these two lines is 1.5 millimeters. Okay. Now we'll make this sketch here. We have our midline here. Okay. The construction line. So here we'll make step by step. So we'll make this line here, this one, and here. In this point, we have a line here. The sketch is something like this, okay? The distance of this line here is 0 0.1 millimeters. The distance between this point here and this point here is 2.5 millimeters. The angle between this line here and the construction line is 30 degrees, okay? So let's make this, select the line, make this line here, okay, go to sketch dimension, the angle between these two lines here is 30 degrees, the distance between this point and this point here is 2.5 millimeters, let me move here a little bit, and this line here has 0 0.1 millimeters okay okay we have this okay now let's see the radius here so the radius here the distance between this construction line and this line here is a half of 11.5 millimeters so it is 5.75 millimeters okay Go to sketch dimension, select this point here and the construction line. The distance here is 5.75 millimeters. Okay, let me move this a little bit. We have this. Now, let's make the other line here, this sketch, okay? So let's continue here. One line here, this line, this line here has 0 0.36 millimeters, and this line here has 2 millimeters, okay? And the distance between this line and the center line is a half of 9.5 millimeters, so it is 4.75 millimeters, okay? 4.75. So go to create a sketch, select a line. Click here in this point, make a line here. This line has two millimeters. Make another line here, make this. Go to sketch dimension. This line has two millimeters and the distance between this line and the construction line here, the midpoint is 4.75 millimeters. And the distance of this line here is 0 0.36 millimeters okay 
go to constraint select horizontal vertical select this point and this point here okay now let's make this line here we know that the angle between these two line is 16 degrees so the angle between the this line and the construction line is 8 degrees okay so go to fusion select the line click here in this point make a line here and make this line go to sketch dimension the angle is 8 degrees okay we made this finish the sketch go to revolve features the profile is this sketch and the axis is the construction line press ok we made this ok now we need to make this cut here so the first we'll make in this face here ok this cut is eight cuts here and the it the distance is 0 0.2 millimeters okay so here we'll make a line here and the angle between this line and this construction line 22.5 degrees so go to create a sketch select this face select the line construction line make a construction line here okay now make another line here but remove the construction line type and the angle between this line here and this is 22.5 degrees okay and the length of this line here we can put the distance here of 8 millimeters no problem and press ok we made this line now we use this line to make a cut we needed to cut this from this face to this point here the distance is 17 millimeters okay from this face to this point here so if you have 18 millimeters here minus 1 17 millimeters okay and the thickness of this line is 0.2 millimeters so go to extrude the type here select thin extrude select this line the profile the distance is 17 millimeters but here change the direction select the minus here and the wall thickness here 0.2 millimeters and the wall location select the center operation cut we'll make this cut here press ok now we have eight cuts here one two three four eight so let's use the circular pattern select the, the type here circular pattern the object type select the features the features selected this cut and the axis selected the circle here the quantity here is 8 and press ok we made this okay now we made the same but in the other side in the other face in the other face the thickness is 0 0.2 millimeters okay 8 cuts we need to make and the distance is 17 millimeters okay look the distance here from this face to this point here 17 millimeters so go to create a sketch select this face here select the line here is in the center here 8 millimeters accurate no problem finish the sketch go to extrude the type selected thin extrude the profile selected this line the distance minus 17 millimeters the wall thickness 0.2 millimeters 
in the wall location, select center, operation cut, press OK. Now go to circular pattern. The object type, select the features. The features, select this cut here. And the axis, select the circle here. And quantity 8. And press OK. We made this, OK. So here we finish our exercise. So thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.